Hello everyone. Welcome to BIC Solution. Today we are going to talk about the template section, performance template section under the performance management. So let's start today's tutorial. So why we have to consider the performance template section in the performance management. So you must create a section for each task that require a section used in the process flow. You create section using the performance template section task in the setup and maintenance work area. And when you create a section, remember to specify the type. Okay, so depending on the type, you can also set these items, whether the section is rated or weighted, which calculation method to use to determine worker rating if using calculated rating and which rating model to use to rate workers and content item processing option and content item to include. So after you create the section, they are available for you to use in the performance template. In the performance template, you can create sections or select and edit previously created section. Okay. Then there is a section types also. So we have the section in the performance template section. So first is the profile content to rate workers competencies. Then we have the performance goals to rate workers performance goals. Then we have the development goals to rate worker development goals. And then we have the cautionaries to allow manager, worker and participant to provide feedback about the worker. And next we have the overall summary to provide the overall rating of the worker. Then we have the workers final feedback and at last we have the manager final feedback. So note that competency section with the text file, uh, text field type are not supported in the performance document. So you must define a section for the tasks that appear in the process flow that require a section. So each section correspond to an evaluation topic or section in the performance document. Okay. So let's just go to the application and see all the other things just like the section type so i'm just going to log in in the application okay so here i'm logging as an implementation user then we have to go to the my client group and then we can go by the apps and you can also go by the quick action so i'm just going by the apps here here we have to go to the performance template section so i'm just going to click on the create new option you can give you the name the description okay then here you can see the different section type the profile the performance the development the overall the worker final the manager and the quotient these are the section type we just talk about okay then these are the competency section name so uh, did you know that you can include multiple competency type uh, competencies type so use them to evaluate uh, uh, different groups of competencies separately for example configure a competency section to populate with the competencies for an employee's job profile so configure another to populate with the organization competencies okay so for that you have to set the goals workers self-evaluation workers evaluation right you can select here the competencies then here you can select your section rating module. Okay, so there is a rating and there is a weighting also. For the profile content or for the, we can say the competencies, performance goal, the development goals and overall summary section, you can select whether to enable the section ratings. Okay. Here you can see that this checkbox, you can decide whether you can to enable section rating, comment or both, or you don't want to, right? Here you can see for the comment and this is a rating. 
okay so when you enable section rating and comment manager worker and participant can select a rating for a section and provide comment for the profile content uh, or we can say the competencies performance goal and development goal sections they can read the section separately from the individual content item and contain within the section for the profile content section the content item are the competencies so the performance goal section contain performance goal item okay and the development goal section contain the development goals item okay you can change here so you can see there is a synchronized goal section is automatically appeared here then these are the rating module okay you can enable the comment here if you select the development goal okay then it's if you select the overall summary so according to overall summary all the information changed here okay so manager worker participant and matrix manager can use the calculated rating option and uh, for the profile content performance goals and development goal section the application calculates rating based on the rating on the individual item in the section okay so you can select any rating module from here just like the performance rating model then here you can see the calcul these fields are now enabled okay you can select this also if you want to the read section okay so for the overall summary section the application calculate rating using uh, the section rating from the profile content, performance goals and development goal section. Okay, so you can select to a uh, weight section also. Here you can see that or item in a section to place more or less importance on the Sec, uh, section or item. So the application can use the weights to calculate section and overall rating. Okay, so if you have multiple competencies section, you can configure them differently to determine who sees it and whether it's rated. So if you have additional competencies section which are rated, then the competencies consider them in the overall rating. Okay, if it's calculated and their weights if configured. Okay, then we have the calculation rule here. Okay, so you can have the application application calculated the employee's performance rating in an addition to having a worker and manager manually enter rating in uh, the section like overall summary and the profile content and the performance goal and the development goal. So for the overall summary section, the application uses the calculation rule you select to determine overall ratings for performance based on the calculation for the profile content or we can say the competencies and performance goals and development goal section so select the one of these the average sum band and the fast formula okay so for the calculation rule here we have the fast formula if used, then we have the decimal places. Okay, here you can see that. Here's the decimal places, then decimal rounding rule, then mapping metric, and then mapping method. Okay, so these are the calculation rules we have. Okay, then we have the rating model. Okay, so in the overall summary, profile content or we can say the competencies, performance goal and development goal section, you use rating model to rate the worker. You set up rating models in the profile management business process using the profile rating model task in the setup and maintenance work area. 
okay so if you use a particular rating model to rate the item in a section you can do one of these action like use the same rating model to rate the section itself and select a different model to rate the section okay so these are the things you can do under the rating module then we have the content item processing okay here we have So for the profile content, performance goal and development goal section, you select the rating and calculation rules to use to determine rating scores for the content item, goals and competencies. So if your organization uses calculated rating, if you use performance rating types for the section, you can select different rating models to rate individual item in the section. The calculation rules are applied to each item. Then combined using the calculation rule, you select it for the section to determine the section rating. Okay, to use this feature for the profile content sections, you can select the Okay, so here you can see, you can select the proficiency, the performance and the proficiency performance. Okay, rating type. For the performance goals and development goals section, the performance rating type applies automatically. Okay, and uh, here you can see we select the profile content, so we have to select it. Okay, so only item added directly to the template are eligible for the separate rating model. Items added to the performance document by the manager or worker use the performance rating module specified for the sections. Okay, then we have the section content. Okay, so in the section content section, you specify the source of the content item. You can also designate additional item to appear in the section okay so information source for the profile uh, profile content section so basically for the profile content section you can select the um, populate competencies from the model profile related to the workers job okay so uh, you can select for the workers job or job family position and also by the organizations you can also select a specific profile uh, here you can see that right these are the thing you can select here if you select this one you can also select the specific content item here and profile are maintained in the uh, profile management business process so when you create the performance template you can also add competencies directly to it okay so weights and minimum weights associated with it here you can see that weight and minimum weight already associated with it so uh, with the competencies so from a model profile are also populated in the performance document so worker and manager can use the update action in the performance document to include new competencies added to the profile configured for the section so the document update to the include additional content and added to the model profile since the performance document was created or last updated the weight and the minimum weight are only populated in the performance document when the competencies, um, what we can say that the when the competencies added to the performance document. 
okay so subsequent changes to the competencies weight and the minimum weight in the model profile don't update the weights for the competencies that already exist in the performance document okay then we have the writing assistant so in the profile content section you can select the enable writing assistant for manager to assist manager in the writing useful comment about worker competencies in the performance document the writing assistant feature provides suggestion for the comment that are associated with the competencies and their correlated proficiency levels also okay so these are the things we have okay if we select for example the performance goal so here we can have the populate with the worker performance goal so for the performance goal section here we can select the populate performance with worker performance goals to add goals from goal plan in the goal management business process to the performance document and to update goals in the performance document with a weight that are revised in the goal management business process okay so we can select this allow update uh, goal section to update goal weights from the goal management business process so when manager or worker edit the worker's goal in the goal management business process that already exists in the performance document, the changes are updated in the document using two methods. Okay, when the manager or worker open the performance document, all edits to performance goal except weights are reflect in the performance document. And second way is, the, when the manager or worker use the update goal action in the performance document, goals edit include weights appear in the document. So, to populate the performance document with new performance goal from the goal management business process, they must use the update goal action option. Okay, you have to select this feature. Okay. Then if we just change this into the development goals. So to add goals from the career development business process, select the populate with the worker development goal covering any part of the evaluation period. So in the development goal section for the irrelevant time period you can select additional option to determine which development goals appear in the performance document okay so include future development goals starting after evaluation period here you can see that this and exclude inactive lab development goals so when manager or worker edit the workers existing goals in the career development business process the changes are reflected in the performance document when it's open okay so to populate the performance document with new development goals from the career development business process they must use the update goal action in the performance document okay then we have at last the content item so you can add content item to the profile content performance goal and development goal section definition so when you use those section in the performance template section load items from the section also okay on the content tab to add the items to the template so the content item in the template appear in the performance document created from the template so these are the things you have to fill out when you are creating your performance template section. So that's why we have to consider the performance template section in the performance management. So I hope this topic is clear to you why you have to consider the performance template section. So thank you so much for watching the videos.